I came at a bad time. No, no. I think you couldn't have timed it better. 23.47.15 system time. Very punctual, Kafka. Mm, Elio always tells the exact future. So what's with the explosion just now? Was that also part of his script? Uh-huh. 23.44.59 system time. The pulses from the explosion cause a massive breakdown from the master control system. You did that? No. The Antimatter Legion did it. They completely invaded the space station two system hours ago. Alright. So do we need to fight the Legion? I don't know. Elio didn't say anything about it, so it doesn't matter. Got it. So from now on, I'll be in charge of this operation. Copy. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. Sorry, I'm afraid there is not much I can do for you. Our task this time is just to place the target properly. But if you want to go look for some fun yourself, I won't stop you. I mean, after all. <laughs> After all, Elio didn't put it in the script. Why would it matter? When did the Antimatter Legion become so weak? I could only attract this much. Did you really want the entire Legion to come here? This lot won't be able to slow down the Astral Express crew. Relax. A Doomsday Beast is also here. <sighs> Cleaning up other people's mess isn't in my job description. You know, Kafka? Uh, yeah, yeah. Where did you send it, Silverwolf? Some random coordinates. Not important. You care about where that Void Ranger ended up? Of course not. I'm just amazed at this fancy technique of yours, as usual. <sighs> just a little trick of tampering with the data of reality. I wouldn't call it fancy. What were you looking at so intently just now? Let me see. Herta's Toys. A catalog featuring the space station's collection of rare items. They've got a lot of interesting gadgets. Like what? There's this gun. It can rate any creature within its crosshair as a score from 0 to 100. Uh, doesn't sound very interesting. Aren't you curious about how much you would score? I kind of want to know mine. Fine. I guess we can swing by and play with it if it's not too far. What's our destination? Go down the corridor behind the door on the left. There's a room where some kind of rare item is stored. And so that's where the Stellaron is. That's where we can find out where the Stellaron is. The central area of the space station is up ahead. There will be lots of Legion Void Rangers there. Okay. Hold it. Someone or something is up ahead. Looks like we're the ones getting ambushed. But they're the ones getting besieged. Time to say bye. Hmm. Not a single soul here. Impressive evacuation work. Did Herta organize it herself? 
According to the access history, she hasn't logged in here for over six months. The evacuation was directed by the acting lead researcher, a girl named Asta. It doesn't ring a bell. Oh, right. Elio said we wouldn't run into her to... It seems she really isn't here. Where's the Stellaron? Elio's script doesn't include any info about the location of the Stellaron, which means in the future he foresees... We would find the Stellaron in a non-physical way. This space station is packed with extraordinary objects. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one that can make it happen. Well, hiding something extraordinary with something extraordinary. This is pretty Herta. I assume you know what to do. I mean, you've read the catalog for quite a while. I've got all the clues we need. The only piece missing is a simple trick. Help me investigate the terminal in this room. Our item might be inside. Okay, the stage is yours. Huh? I can't see the memory storage for this terminal. This is the monitoring room. They must have deleted the records and made a run for it. Classic. I can see the whole space station on the surveillance screen. But not the Stellaron. Even if you could, it'd be a trap. Herta doesn't display her collections. <sighs> Make your way over here then. There's no point in trying to search like this. So, got a master plan? I'm all ears. It's a matter of hacking the surveillance system directly. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Herta's collections aren't in the system, so anything unaffected should be our target. Simple, crude, but effective. Look, found it. Hmm, huh. what's this? Item number 211, Blind Spot. A simple light deflecting field. It allows an object in its field to pass unnoticed, but if a different item ceases to be obvious, the object gets revealed. So, Herta hides her collection with something as simple as this? The simplest method is the hardest to spot. Isn't that our motto? <whistles> Strange thing number two. The data suggests it's just an ordinary hologram, but it has an added layer. Let's take a look. Don't worry, this place won't be our grave. Interesting. She's a member of the Genius Society, all right. The Stellaron is up ahead. Let's hurry. It has its own security system. I guess even for Herta, Stellaron is no ordinary rarity. Can you get it? Of course. Even the genius Herta can't compete with me when it comes to hacking. Good. Then I'll also count on you with the preparation of the receptacle. The receptacle's ready. Your decision. <laughs> Elio said this decision will bring about lots of changes. He also said, it must be you who makes it. Want to give her a new name? <laughs> there we go. How much does she remember? 
I'll remember you. Time to get up. A space station, but that's not important. Listen, you are in a daze right now. You don't know who you are, why you're here, or what you're going to do next. You think I look familiar, but you're not sure if you should trust me. None of that matters. All you need to know is that I'm leaving, and you will be left all alone on this space station. From now on, you needn't think about your past or doubt yourself. Listen, in the near future, you will encounter all kinds of perils and hardships, but you will also have many wonderful experiences. You'll meet companions who will treat you like family and embark on surreal adventures with them. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. This is your future that Elio has foreseen. Do you like it? Lovely. Hey, remember what you feel in this moment. As long as you know in your heart where you're heading, you're guaranteed to see the ending of your story. That's the you I like. How long do you think you need? According to the script, the Astral Express crew is arriving soon. We should avoid being seen by them. I know, Silver Wolf. Just give me another minute. I must leave now. Don't worry, someone will come and find you very soon. Just go with them. You won't remember a thing except me. When you have a chance to make a choice, Make one that you know you won't regret. Weren't the coordinates sent out from the space station? Who cares? They're here and alive. Do they look like a mannequin to you? <sighs> Weak heartbeat and pulse. March, you better do CPR. Try harder? I'm sure you can at least remember your name. Nice to meet you. My name's Don Hung, and this is March 7th. This space station was just attacked by the Antimatter Legion. We came to help with the rescue at the request of lead researcher Asta. Uh huh. A petite cutie with pink hair? Madame Herta appointed her to be the acting lead researcher. That girl really needs to step up. I can't believe her own employee doesn't even know her name. Goons owned by the destruction. You're lucky the most dangerous Lord Ravager among them isn't around. Just some nasty minions. We'll take those invaders out soon. Don't worry. Back to the Master Control Zone. Asta and the other researchers have gathered there. Plus, that's where we parked the Astral Express! Don't you worry, we'll protect you from the monsters and clear up this mess. Don Hung and I are members of the Astral Express crew. Well, the Express has some dealings with Madame Herta, so we come to visit the space station from time to time. We just so happened to arrive during this... invasion. Of course, as a... <clears throat> crew of heroes, we're happy to lend a hand. Yeah, you've never seen it? The Express comes here every once in a while. 
It's a unique train that can travel between the stars with the power of the Trailblaze Eon. I'll show you once we're back to the Master Control Zone. You and March go back together. Arlan from the Security Department lost contact in the vicinity. I need to find him first. Oh, all right. You stay safe. Hmm. Maybe you should bring this. The Legion are rampaging through the space station like a pack of wolves. This trip won't be a walk in the park. It's better if you have something to protect yourself. Just a suggestion, though. You're safe as long as you stick with me. This place is full of fancy little gadgets. Herta's collection. I really don't get why she'd go out of her way to collect them and then leave them here to gather dust. Ha! Uh, it's the Antimatter Legion! So these crazy. You're stronger than you look. Seem to be quite the fighter. So we'll take that elevator on the central platform to go down to the master control zone. Do you know the way? Um, I noticed that you're not wearing the space station staff uniform. Do you really work here? Memory loss, huh? You must have been injured. Never mind. I won't ask if you don't want to talk about it. Let's go. I'll take you to the safe zone. Ah, I knew it. But it wasn't me. The Antimatter Legion must have broken it. Ah, too bad Don Hung's not here. He's like a walking encyclopedia. He knows a ton of complicated stuff. Maybe even elevator repair. Uh, I don't know that one. Whoa! Ah. Why are you here? And how did you get here before us? I took another route to the upper level, and I saw you guys from up there. Arlan is in the control room. He's been injured, but not fatally. You found him? Will he know what to do about this elevator? I suppose as the head of the security department, he should know. Then let's go talk to him! Hey, you're all together? Yep, we're from the Astral Express. Oh, did Madame Herta send you to help? <sighs> it's just a coincidence. We came to deliver the rare relic Herta trusted us to find. We didn't expect to arrive during an invasion. Why is the Antimatter Legion targeting you guys? It seems they just ignored the surface of the planet and came straight to the space station. I... have no idea. The Legion came at a very suspicious time, almost right after the security system suddenly failed. Lady... Lead researcher Asta immediately began to organize the evacuation. I was supposed to cover everyone as they evacuated, but... I didn't expect to end up failing in this task. Don't be too hard on yourself. Your leg and dominant hand were injured. It was a wise decision to hide here and avoid a head-on encounter with the Legion. Yeah, most of the staff have been evacuated safely. So right now our highest priority is to return to the Master Control Zone and plan a counterattack. So, do you know how to use the elevator? I couldn't start it. After the evacuation was complete, the elevators were all shut down to keep the Legion away from the Master Control Zone. Since Lady Asta sent you to look for me, I assume she must have given you the encryption key for accessing the elevator system? Oh, right. She did give me some sort of card. Mm. March. But where did I put it? 
you. Ah, uh, here it is. Uh. <sighs> now that we found the key, we should get going. We can use that console over there to unlock the elevator. Let's go. Hold on. I only activated the elevator on the highest floor. We'll have to go there to use it. Because I mustn't give the Legion any chance to reach the master control zone by the elevator. I must ensure the safety of the station staff. So I'll have to trouble you to take a bit of a detour. Apologies. Huh? You're not coming with us? My leg is injured. I'd only slow you down. I'll stay here and shut down the elevator once you've made it to the master control zone. You won't slow us down. And you should be able to shut down the elevators from the master control zone. Right? Agreed. She and I made it here safely. And now we've also got Don Hung. We're more than enough to protect you. Let us worry about the Antimatter Legion. You just follow us and keep yourself alive. Thank you. The repulsion bridge has been shut down? Yes. To stall the enemy. More or less. Uh, hey, these shiny things. Are these light cones? I thought only the Interastral Peace Corporation had rare stuff like this. No. Light cones are Garden of Recollection technology. They allow you to carry memories around. Very potent enhancement items. I heard the corporation paid a lot for the usage rights, but I've no idea how Herta managed to get hold of one. They were acquired legitimately. That's all I can say. Take them. They're very useful in combat. Aw, is that it? We've reached the elevator already? That wasn't too many monsters. Ugh, probably shouldn't have said that. Might bring bad luck. Why does it always have to get this exciting? Anyway, at least you're back. March, Dun Hung, you've been through a lot. Oh, Hugh, Himeko, what took you so long? That last wave of antimatter legion came at us like a swarm of locusts. Have you ever tried shooting locusts with a bow? I wouldn't have made a difference. My orbital cannon can deal with a whole bunch of enemies at once, but I couldn't just blow up the space station with it. Herta would not like that. <sighs> Are you all right, Arlam? Asta's been worried about you. I'm fine. A quick patching up will do. Thanks for asking. I'll report the situation to lead researcher Asta immediately. Bye. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Himiko, navigator of the Astral Express. In other words, she's in charge of where the Express goes. March hasn't been any trouble for you along the way, has she? Think carefully about how you want to reply to that. Well, that's the joy of youth. We should take every step forward full of energy. She's a discerning one, isn't she, Don Hung? I have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Look at you all. You've already gotten really close. Come on, Asta's been worried about all of you. 
Projectile radar tracking normal. Telemetry signal frequency unusually high. Maintain at normal levels. Our measurements predict that the Legion is about to unleash over 10 waves of continuous attacks. Everyone, brace yourselves. Asta, we're back. Oh, I'm glad you're all back safe. Arlen just told me about the situation at the storage zone and about his injury. Thank you for all your help. In times of disaster, I realize more and more that the space station's researchers are its most valuable assets. Alas, we were ill-prepared for such emergencies. We should have built up our security and combat departments. But on the other hand, the entire crew of the Astral Express seems to be extraordinarily skilled. What is the current situation on the space station? The situation is under control for now. The damage to our security system was minor. The intruder only managed to alter a small amount of data, so it was easy to fix. The real problem lies with the researchers. They trust Madame Herta wholeheartedly and never thought that the space station would be breached by the Legion. Hmm. A broken spirit is far worse than a broken body. Let's go speak with the researchers. Right now, the space station can't afford any more unexpected turns, especially from within. Have you tried contacting Herta? I sent multiple letters, all met with silence. You know her, Himako? The space station is but a mere warehouse for followers and rare items. She doesn't really care about it. I knew it. No matter. I'll also send a letter to Herta and tell her that we've brought the rare item she seeks. At least that might get her attention. Oh, that would be of great help. If only I caught the Antimatter Legion sooner. Oh, I'm fine. This pain is nothing, really. I'm used to it. In fact, I should be proud of it. It's a reminder of being able to protect everyone. <clears throat> but, uh... Don't tell lead researcher Asta what I just said. Whew. There were a few researchers who didn't make it. The rest are fine, mostly minor injuries. But I'm worried about their mental states. Most of them came to the space station because they admired Madame Herta. But now they can't reach her or even their own families. I just hope they can all survive this crisis. My first impression was that she was the daughter of a rich family, owners of a big company. She was kind to me, though. When she went to the space station, I followed her. I don't know much about science, but I'm glad to be able to protect people in pursuit of their research. I hope all this chaos will end soon. Push the stick down, Alfred. Oh, sorry, sorry, I got the wrong person. Thanks, kid. We're doing some pre-checks for the satellite remote sensing. I'll hold down the button to monitor the signal, and you push the control stick according to my instructions. But first, let's talk about the controls. Up is the spectrometer, down is the filter, left is the reference level, and right is the attenuator. Our pre-checks have three steps. Turning on the spectrometer, then the attenuator, and finally outputting the signal to the filter. It's quite a bit to remember. You got everything? Wonderful, thank you. <laughs> that was very helpful of you, kid. Alfred was the researcher in charge of this. He was in the storage zone earlier. He didn't make it back. Abraham was close to him. <sighs> I don't know how to tell him about it. The top priority is to preserve the space station and concentrate on the work at hand. I need to leave. I need to run from this forsaken... No, it's impossible. I can run from yesterday, I can run from today, but tomorrow will always be one step ahead of me. Look! The obstacle detection terminal has recorded 142,856 attacks. The next count will be 142,857! I know in my heart that when I see that hopelessly beautiful cyclic number, 
it will mean the poetic end of my life cycle. Everyone keeps saying that. Things will get better. Things won't always be this bad. Negative, positive, a negative of a negative is a positive. Life inevitably comes to an end, but not today. How insightful. Yes, of course. The closer you approach death, the more you appreciate life. I will pull myself together. Thank you. That was kind of you. Take the express and leave. I'll stay. But... Let's go. Lost communications. Are you thinking of going back? Well, let me remind you, that's the Doomsday Beast, the Legion's planet destroyer. The space station is Herta's creation. As long as the Lord Ravager doesn't intervene, there should be no problems. <laughs> but we can't just run away like this, right? <sighs> the Doomsday Beast can rip off the defense shield like tearing paper. And Herta's not here. The station's defenses are too weak to stand against the Antimatter Legion. Either way, the Legion has the blessing of the Eon Nanook. They came prepared, and everyone here is not. That's why we have to leave and take her with us. Hmm? She's that important? She's the one who can help us turn the tides. Of course, I may be wrong. <sighs> As you say so. All right. What should we do next? This is the supply zone where the maintenance crew works. There's a path here that leads to the railway platform. Let's head over there and meet up with Welt. Mr. Yang? Mr. Yang's here too? Didn't he stay on the express? The Astral Express tracks our coordinates in real time. And with such a huge change in the space station's movements, there's no way Mr. Yang wouldn't have noticed. Mm-hmm. I can almost guarantee that your Mr. Yang is already on his way. Right now, we might be able to handle things if it's just the Doomsday Beast, but if the Destruction's Emanator were to appear... Let's hurry up and get out of here. I'll explain later. Uh, the exit's over there. How do we get to it? Ah, uh, yeah, it's the platform! The express isn't here. It has to be nearby. Let me go take a peek with my sharp eyes. Wait, march! Huh? Huh? The Doomsday Beast. It's really here. Get down here! Uh, careful, everyone!
Let's talk somewhere else. Is this... the space station? Hi. It's good that you've made it through in one piece. You can rest easy now that the threat from the Legion has been neutralized. Well, this invasion seems to be nothing more than a random provocation. As soon as the Doomsday Beast fell, the Legion retreated. I guess I'll leave you to rest up a bit for the time being. By the way, um, what's your beacon address? That way, if anything happens, I can contact you. Go see Himiko when you have the time. She said she had something to discuss with you. You're awake. I had Marge and Dan Hung stay by the Express to keep an eye on things. It's almost time. She should be arriving any moment now. Well, I've only been gone, what, a few months? And the space station is already in this state? Welcome back, Herda. This is the true master of the space station. Genius Society number 83, Herda. At least give me a proper introduction. Genius Society number 83? Of all my outstanding achievements. That's what you want to mention? Yeah, up to speed yet? That place you all turned upside down? That's my property. So, this little twerp has the Stellaron now? Huh. Hmm. I'll have to take a good look. Hmm. Truly amazing! I built a whole space station just to contain this unactivated Stellaron and keep the blue from disaster. Yet someone was able to achieve that with this little twerp's body? How did they do it? Moreover, the Stellaron is still very stable in her body. <gasps> You're right! This little one's body truly is strange. All right, I got it. But I'm still gonna call you Little Twerp. The space in my brain is too valuable to store people's names. Oh. Well, thanks for remembering my name then. That's different. We have business with each other. Um, what was your name again? Uh, uh, forget it. But let's focus on the one who can store a Stellaron in their body. Can I bring her in for some research? That's not up to me to decide. You can ask her yourself. Hmm. This little twerp's pretty financially motivated. Oh, I like it. Alright, give the poor child a break, Herda. I'm very interested now. So there's almost nothing I won't accommodate. A Stellaron in your body? How interesting is that? Be grateful that I'm offering to help you out. This is a service even the IPC can't buy. You understand now? Herda wants you to stay in her space station. Well, I'm going to have to modify your wording here. This little twerp can only stay temporarily until the research is done. Or maybe I'll lose interest halfway through and they can just beat it. And after that? <laughs> Not my problem. <sighs> You also have another option. The Astral Express. If you want, you can leave with us. The Express has its fair share of experiences with Stellarons. The thing you're worried about and the answers we're looking for are one and the same. Besides, we can come back any time to let her to conduct her research. She's absolutely fascinated now. Hmm. Well, works for me. Keeps this subject fresh, too. And that way... I won't need to keep worrying about this little twerp all the time. <laughs> Perfect. My advice would be to get on. 
You're not doing me that big of a favor by staying anyway. Just remember to come back often. Make an appointment in advance with Asta or Arlen so I can make time to study you. There's no need to rush into this, Herda. Asta's in the master control zone. Let's let her have a talk with Asta first and decide for herself. I'll be waiting for you on the platform. It's no hurry if you still have things to do or someone to see. Come find me when you've made your decision. What you're seeing is one of my remote-controlled puppets. They're all over the station. I just connect to one wherever I am needed. Enough chit-chat. I am working on a big project with a few colleagues. If we succeed, it will answer the ultimate question that's been puzzling us for thousands of Amber Eras. The truth about eons. Eons. Think about it. What mystical existences. Some eons used to be ordinary humans like you and me, but somehow they managed to obtain power beyond our imagination. They are mysterious, powerful, silent, and terrifying. It's hard to explain all the mysteries surrounding them. How were they created? Why were they created? What were they created for? Have you ever thought about these questions? Well, indeed, it's got nothing to do with you, but we need you. Give me some time. I'll make this worthwhile for you, too. The four geniuses of the society wrote a program together. You see the big machine in the office? That machine contains a universe. Just like the universe we live in, but it's more streamlined and customized. I call it the metaverse. Oh, really? That's what my partner said as well. Fine. I am a team player. Then let's call it the simulated universe. Now go and experience it for yourself. I will guide you in the simulated universe to make sure nothing happens to you. I'll even give you a substantial reward.
Hey, I heard the news! You're coming with us on the express, right? Do I even need to say it? I think we're becoming fast friends. Isn't that enough? But you look like you've got something on your mind. Come on, out with it! Getting nostalgic already? You know, when you were passed out, all I thought was I had to look after you. And then you picked up the bat? Just incredible! In the blink of an eye, you knocked that big fella into Mr. Yang's black hole and saved me! I still haven't thanked you properly yet. Nah, we're not splitting up here. I'd like to know too. I was already on the train when I woke up. I was just drifting out there in space and got picked up by the express. Amazing, right? Crazy stuff like that? Not too often. It sure freaked me out. But every encounter I've had since coming aboard the Express has been strange to say the least. For example, going to the desert to catch something called a sandfish, correcting a gravitational field to flip an upside down castle, or almost getting my head cracked open by a galena ball falling from the sky while trying to avoid a sleeping reindeer on the road. Huh. Looking back now, it all seems quite dangerous. But I had the crew there with me, so the problems didn't seem all that bad. Of course you should! Why wouldn't you? There's only four of us now, plus Pom Pom. Each of us can have our own carriage to sleep in. You wouldn't have the heart to leave your carriage unmanned, would you? Join us! Then it wouldn't be a problem anymore. I'll be waiting for you. So, have you thought things through? Then come with me. The way <laughs> to celebrate. Let's go. I'll be waiting. Get on. Till we make it oh, 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 oh. <coughs> I'm over here Come with me, take the journey Hey, you over there looking dumbfounded Yes, Pom Pom's talking to you Himiko told Pom Pom about your situation. Now listen up! Pom Pom will only say this once. Pom Pom's sure there have been lots of people telling you how special you are lately. But this is the Astral Express, and everyone on here has their secrets. Since you chose to board, you can abide by the rules. You're not the only special one here. You'd best remember that. I'm Pom Pom, the conductor. Just come find me if you have any trouble. Here already? Hmm. I was just engaging in pleasantries. How can I help? Oh? Why are you interested in her room? Ah, Pom Pom remembers Himiko saying that you saved her. Hmm, very brave. Very foolhardy. But that is what a trailblazer should be like. March 7th's room is in the express sleeper compartment. She's always running around, so she might not be there. Don Hong's room? Oh, you mean the archives. Ah, uh, he's just sort of living in there, I guess. I can't be bothered getting him out. March 7th's room is right next to the archives. You can visit him on the way. You recognize this as well? Eh, Himako always likes to bring back weird junk and try to fix it. That also got modified a bit. Pom Pom still needs to prepare for the Express's warp jump. You can look around the place yourself. No matter where you go on this train, Pom Pom will always have my eyes on you. Oh, it's you. How do you feel? 
Great. Looks like your stamina is really quite special. In any case, I have to thank you for saving March. <laughs> All I did was calm that thing inside you down temporarily. I don't want to frighten you, but the truth is you won't ever be in the clear while it's still inside your body. However, as long as the Stellaron is still in your body, you should be careful what you do. I don't know if Himiko and I can suppress it again. But I won't bore you any longer. So much happened at the space station, you must be tired. There should be some time until the next warp jump, so feel free to walk around and familiarize yourself with the environment. What do you think? Does the Astral Express look the same as you imagined? Everyone on the Express is a passenger. We're all heading towards an unknown destination. Like we're traveling together. Maybe that's why the Trailblaze chose such a look. Oh, right. March and Don Hung should both be in their rooms right now. You can go look for them. You youngsters should get along well. Oh, you know young people. Their rooms always reflect their personality. You can go and have a look around. Also, don't mind Pom Pom's antics. They're actually pretty interested in you. It's just that we haven't had new passengers on the Express for a long while. All right, I won't steal Pom Pom's thunder. If you have any questions, just go ask our conductor. There seems to be the sound of electronic equipment. Hmm? Who's there? I learned to sense incoming visitors after people kept barging in so frequently. Can I help you? Feel free. This is open to everyone on the Express. While many of the roads that Akivili traveled along no longer exist, I think it's still meaningful to record our adventures as current passengers of the Express. I enter the collected data into the Archives data bank. I try to catalog the people and places the Express encounters, and compare and contrast them with the existing records. Do you see the terminal over there? Is unlocked. Should I go in? Just one look should be fine, right? Make a choice I won't regret. Reach the future. Ahem! Hi! Hello! Attention all passengers! Attention all passengers! The Express is about to conduct a warp jump. All passengers, please gather at the main hall. I repeat, the Express is about to conduct a warp jump. All passengers, Please gather at the main hall. <sighs> you took long enough. But at least everyone's here now. He won't be here, so just leave him be. Oh yeah, take these. A tiny bonus from the conductor to the passenger. Think of it as an investment in your future growth. Okay, everyone, hurry up and find a place to sit down. Try not to be like March, always running around the Express like a headless chicken. 
Pom Pom's going to start the final preparations for the jump. 